What's up guys, Redneck Gamer 13 here. And I'm back at it with Car Mechanic Simulator. Gonna finish out that drag series that I told you guys I was gonna do and then I disappeared and came back, you know. All the fun joys of working and not having much time after work and trying to hang out with friends, family, all that, just working on my vehicle, you know. Couldn't really fit YouTube in the schedule, but either way, we're not going to get into that. Today, we're going to be making this Chief, uh, I almost said Chieftain TBX. That's not what this is. We already did the Chieftain TBX. This is a Bolt Hellcat DR Drag Race Edition, of course. Um, so yeah, I saw it in the junkyard, figured it'd be perfect for what we're trying to do with the drag series. And, well, hopefully we can uh, put some bigger tires on this thing and make it look like a drag car. It looks like we have a little room up top. Not much, though. Not much at all. So we might just have to keep the stock tire size in the rear and then go skinny tires in the front but either way let's get everything taken off of this in my eyes it kind of looks like a Chevelle front maybe not so much but looks pretty close to one don't mind these other two cars in here they I have no clue what I was doing with those I loaded in here and they were in here I haven't touched this game in a while so whatever I was planning on doing I mean obviously I was gonna fix them but whatever I was planning on doing with those as far as what I was gonna build them as I have no clue this thing's in really good shape. Did I buy it brand new? Yeah, I did. Nice. Did I buy this brand new? Yeah, I definitely did. I just didn't know if I redid the outside of it and then the interior, or well, the components of the car were not so great, but... No, definitely bought it new because everything's looking good on it. Oh, it's even got the decal on the side. That's nice. So. I guess we can start by taking this battery out. Getting that charged up. And then after that, I'll pull the motor and the transmission. Well, I have to pull the transmission first, but then the motor. I'm trying to figure out how I can shorten these videos so I can get them done in one go. Instead of, I don't know why I was trying to pull that apart. Probably going to see me make a lot of mistakes. Because <laughs> I haven't been here in a while, so. But I'm trying to figure out how I can make these videos much shorter than what they normally are. And I'm thinking I might skip the part where I go in and buy everything and then just... Do the parts where I assemble it. Do it that way. I can actually keep that right there. Because I'm going to be using it again. Let's see if these are. Alright. Perfect. I can repair them. So yeah. When I used to do these videos before. I did them late at night so you guys could barely hear what I was saying but now doing it during the day I can actually speak louder and not have to worry about waking anyone up so that's kind of nice 
There's that. So let's get this lifted up. Take the tires off. When I first started these videos, actually, I believe I was uh, just starting my job. But I ended up uh, walking out on him up there because there was a supervisor that was actually my supervisor was saying a whole bunch of negative things about me to other people and just basically telling people that I was a POS and everything which you know when they stop and realize what I did for them I mean I I went back up there and I talked to the manager of the front end where I was working she was really nice that I was one of the hardest workers that they had and that if I wanted to come back I just had to wait for the system to reset which would be a month or so and I could go back and that's what I've been thinking about doing but uh, yeah and then I almost got hit by a car that night so it was not a good night for me so I kind of just lost it and walked out. I could have stayed there because I only had like two hours left of my shift. But, I mean, I did what I did. I can't really change it. All I can do is move forward and try to make things better. That's all you can do. But I know if I go back up there, it might mess up YouTube again. Actually, no, I won't, I won't let it. Because YouTube is honestly the path I want to take. Right now, the gaming videos are just holding it together. I just want to wait a little bit before I get into like the in-person videos because I want to do it down the road but I just want to wait on it so and I know I was hope or hyping you guys up about that and I do apologize because that's gonna be a little bit yet but We'll get there eventually. I don't know if I'm going to need those for the rear or not. I don't remember, but I'll get them just in case. I think I have almost everything for this so I can tear it apart and just throw it back together. Let me check here. Do I have sway bar links? No, I don't. Hopefully that's the only thing I'm forgetting. So that way there I can just tear this thing apart real quick, get it back together, and move on to the more important stuff. I like doing the car mechanic simulator videos the most just because um, 
this is what I'm actually gonna be going to school for because I love working on cars I've been doing it since I was a little kid and I love it I have people ask me if I want to get into like other stuff like being an electrician or anything like that a union type job and I mean it's like yeah the money's great but would you rather work a job where you can't really enjoy it and just do it for the money or would you rather work something where you love it but it might not make you a millionaire I'd rather do something I enjoy. And honestly, I never thought YouTube would be in my plan at all. I didn't even think of it for a long time. And then I started doing it. And I was like, you know, I could actually go somewhere with this. Could take all the things I love doing and combine it into one and that'd be my channel so basically gaming cars trucks working on vehicles riding four-wheelers riding snowmobiles fishing I mean I down the road I'll get into all that right now Gaming is just the only thing I'm doing, but eventually I will uh, get into those other types of videos. Which is one of the reasons I'm thinking of going back to work at my old job so I can get some money together and get a GoPro. So then that way there I could easily film when I go fishing and whatnot. Because trying to do it with my phone would be kind of a pain. But, I mean, it's crazy to think that I'm almost up to a thousand subscribers now. I remember when I was down like 200 probably a year and a half ago and I was doing the need for speed uh, payback videos on the abandoned car locations and that was doing the best on the channel and I enjoyed making them because it was car related and you guys I'm sure enjoyed being able to find the cars and use them for yourselves so not only was it fun for me it was also helpful for you guys so you could build those cars and what not but kinda wish they would did something like that with heat a little bit just because uh... It was kind of fun trying to go and find these old cars and then eventually stumbling across them or something. done with this thing now all the rear of it did I even put that on the other side no I didn't surprise I forgot it I was starting to think I just bought extras or something so I got the bushing in there got the one in there 
So I believe it's just the bushings on the other side and then the rear end is all put back together. There we go. Had to go around the tire because it wasn't going to work, I guess, from the other side, but. I've been actually doing these videos, well, I'm starting these again, but I also started uh, doing builds on Need for Speed Heat. I did one a while back, and that one got quite a bit of attention, but I, like I said, anything car related, I'm all about it when it comes to video games and all the Need for Speed games have been ones that I've played since I was a little kid. I just loved them. I think the first one I played was Most Wanted. The first one on PS2. Then after that, I think I played... Pro Street. Then I don't remember what the next one was. Oh, it was uh, The Run and Hot Pursuit. Hot Pursuit was where I actually started to learn cars. And a lot of people used to think I was crazy. I was like, yeah, I learned what these cars are from video games and they're like what don't make no sense it's like yeah video games can actually teach you something but then of course there's many others I mean seeing them in person and being told what it was but yeah no so I've just had a love for cars since I was really young I'd like to actually someday have a garage and build cars like this. And I will tell you what, if I ever get to that point, I will definitely be making YouTube videos on that. That would be awesome. So, those are two fifteens in the front. The rear is two forty five sixty five R fourteen. All right, two forty five sixty five R fourteen. Go two fifty five sixty five yeah. And then for the rear I have no clue what rim I should do. Gotta go with something that's got quite of or quite a bit of a lip or 
deep dish look, whatever you want to call it, offset. Hmm. Thinking these right here. Then for the front. I could go with these. But I'm actually going to make the fronts. 16's probably. So then actually the tire I want for that is going to be a race tire. I'm going to go 145. 80. Hopefully that'll be big enough. And these I'm just going to paint them chrome. Because I haven't done chrome yet, I don't think, on wheels. On any of the drag cars, I always paint them black. And I actually haven't done these rims for the front either. I normally do the other ones. I don't remember what they're called, but... I like to change it up a little bit once in a while with it though, just because if I do the same rim and tire setup on every car, then it ain't gonna really make it unique. But the rims for the rear, these are the only ones I have come across that actually look like a drag style rim. mount one of these up on here and see if it's going to fit. Perfect. That chrome actually looks pretty good on it too. So I definitely wouldn't go any bigger than 255. For the rear so that's 255 65 r14s on the rear and I just tell you guys that again so if you decide you want to build this car for yourself and make it look like a drag car tires still have some width to them I'm just hoping these ones for the front are big enough Oh, okay, it does clear the caliper. I was thinking for a second that it wasn't. Oh, those are actually going to be enough. Going to be big enough to make it so it doesn't even have uh, any rake in the front really either. Which I mean with a drag car, I kind of like that look where it has a little bit of rake in the front. Where the front sits a little bit lower, but... Uh, maybe. A little bit. Looks good, though. So now it's time for... Body panels. Here's the Chapman. All right, here we go. And then got to go here for the hood. Uh, 
think I'm gonna go with these tail lights as well. Do these headlights? Now this hood. So this should be everything I need, other than license plates. But I don't think I'm gonna put plates on it. I might. I don't know yet. The interior. I'm probably just gonna put one uh, race seat in it. give it a legit drag car look there we go now all that's left to do to this thing is put a seat a steering wheel motor in it then the transmission the drive shaft and paint it. That's it. So we'll go here. I don't know what kind of race seat I want to go with for it. Normally I do the red uh, Dodge Viper seat, but I'm thinking I might go with a different one this time just to change it up. But as far as the steering wheel goes, I'll go with that. Where are the race seats? There we go. I'll just do a regular black leather one. Oh yeah. Looks pretty good. And now just... To get this part out of the way, we'll throw it in the paint booth, get it painted up. Oh, so you can have that on there too, huh? Looks like with that, it gives it a black outline, but I'm just going to do a regular stripe with the Hellcat looking thing on the rear. Yeah, I guess it does kind of look like a cougar type thing with some fangs. Uh... Car lifter, eh? I mean, it is a little oddball, but yeah, I guess I can see the cougar type look with it. And then the fangs to just kind of make it look like a cat from hell. <laughs> so, the motor, I'm probably going to do the V8 two carb supercharged motor because that's what was in here and that's what is going to make the most power for sure so yeah I guess let's get to it alright so I went ahead and got all the parts that we're going to need um, well hopefully everything I may have missed something I don't know but I just skipped through that just so that way there I can make the video shorter and I believe I forgot the alternator damn it oh well get that real quick here all right so now I should have everything hopefully because I'd like to try and be able to get this thing done in one video and hopefully get a pass or two at the drag strip with a decent tune on the gearbox so that way there again if you guys want to build this car for yourself um, I'll have it all tuned and everything with a good setup so it is pretty quick 
I don't think it'll be one of the fastest, but I'm sure it'll definitely move, but the fastest ones are going to be any of the ones with the new V8 supercharged motor in them. I don't know why, but they just make a lot more power. But I feel like this older V8 could have more power. They just limit it to... Whatever it is for each car or something. I think they have it limited by like... Car or something because... You may have like the same motor and it may be fully built in like a TBX chieftain like we did for the first video and then take this same motor have it fully built throw it into this car we're working on and this car could have more power than the other one so I don't know what's going on there it's kind of weird but because you'd think at the end of the day with the same motor the same parts that are aftermarket it'd make the same amount of horsepower no matter what you throw it in. I mean like if you take that motor and you throw it in a car and then you take the other one that's built the same way and throw it in a truck then it might not put down as much because it's got more stuff to transfer the power to the ground like transmission then you got the transfer case and then the rear end and which the rear end probably be a little bit more beefy in a truck than a car so I could understand why it would be like that in that sense but with two cars that have the same setup essentially and the same motor built the same way I don't get why it would be that way but I guess that's just car mechanic logic right there what? I only bought one engine head? why would I do that? Like I said, I'm going to make a few mistakes, probably. I almost bought the wrong one. Wow. Alright, here we go. Now watch, I'll forget a manifold or something. Oh, bought two of those. This will actually be pretty good having a car done in one video because normally it would be like a 50 minute video and for some reason I wouldn't have this much done on it. I think it's because I skipped the whole junkyard part because normally I'll go searching around the junkyard and then once I find the car oh wait no I did do that in the beginning of this one no I didn't because I messed it up when I was in the junkyard forgot to keep the recording so I restarted it once I got back to the garage so I was gonna have the junkyard part in the beginning but forgot to uh, capture that
beast there. I can't wait to drop this beast into this car and see what it makes for power. Because I honestly don't really remember what this motor's capable of. Judging by the build, I don't see why it couldn't make a thousand horsepower. But if it doesn't, it's got to be right there, like nine something. Of course, my phone would ring in a YouTube video. Hopefully, I don't get copyright for AT&T ringtone. <laughs> That'd be something. I actually have had a copyright on this channel once before. It was a long time ago. I made a video on it. Talking about it. And it was kind of... BS, but... It was also my fault, so I guess it wasn't really BS then, because I had music playing, and I had it down low, and I didn't think the audio would really pick it up, but then I also had another video that had music in it. And I never got a copyright for that, so that was something. I better just turn my volume down so that way there if I do get another call. Alright, now let's drop this in here. Ooh. Very nice. I like how this car came out. It's got like a classic look. Mixed with obviously the whole drag theme. But it looks pretty good. Definitely like how it came out. Now the seat is in the exhaust pipe. That's cute. Does it stick there? Oh, no. So the exhaust pipes actually stick up into the body a little bit. Okay. It's a little weird, but... Oh, well. If I could straight pipe this thing, I would, but... kind of can't. All we have is the performance mufflers and whatnot. Alright, dino time. Hopefully it's a good number. Wow, not bad. It's actually a little bit better than I was thinking for torque. I thought it was only going to make like a little over a thousand, but I guess I was wrong. So, final ratio... I think I'm going to make this thing a six speed. Drop that a little bit. I'm going to put this up to... I guess I'll do... We'll just leave it at 342 for now to see. What happened? 
happens. I'd like to be able to get at least 40 miles an hour out of first gear. Alright, that'll work. Do 210 for second gear. I think I'll leave the 130 for that. this I'll do 80 this one I'll do 60 it ain't gonna hit no 215 but we'll run that set up and see how it is alrighty so we're here on the drag strip now and we're gonna see how this thing does Going to first person for this one. Oh, it's got the old wood interior. Wow, I'm actually surprised I got 204. It's not a bad setup. But, there we go. That's not a bad setup. I think that's actually the tune I'm going to leave on it. I'll probably keep the car. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more car related content on the channel here with i mean obviously it's gonna be gaming for now but um yeah no i'm doing need for speed builds i'm doing car mechanic uh builds now so can't even speak but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys in the next one